That's incredible. A full size uh, male. Welcome to the final episode in our Costa Rica series. We are Hannah and Jeremy, and if you haven't seen the last three parts of our journey, I will put a link in the description down below. Last week, we explored La Fortuna, including the hanging bridges, learning about the chocolate making process, and taking a traditional Costa Rican cooking class. This week, we share our final two days, including an unforgettable tour with a local guide and some incredible wildlife encounters. We originally had this day booked as a guided hike at a local trail, but we were chatting with the owners of Two Little Monkeys during our chocolate tour, and he recommended that we check out the tours with Gerald at Papa's Place. We were welcomed into their home for a brief view of the garden and an introduction to the house puppy, and then off we set on our tour. Gerald asked us what we were hoping to see during our tour, which of course we said sloths and toucans, which we had yet to see any. And he did say that although he couldn't guarantee any sightings, he would try and keep an eye out for those during our travels. It wasn't more than 10 minutes into our trip before we pulled over and hopped out at our first sighting. There were a few different types of toucans in Costa Rica, and this is a yellow fronted toucan. We encountered some rain, but as it was the rainy season during our visit, this wasn't unexpected, but it was very short-lived. So At the next stop, the we spotted our first sloth of the day. This is our third total from our trip, but this was the closest we'd been able to see one, especially thanks to the help of the telescope. However, the next stop was about to completely blow us away. the baby. There are both two and three toad sloths in this area of Costa Rica. The easiest way to tell them apart, besides from counting the toes of course, is by the coloration on their face. This is a three-toed sloth because it has a predominantly black face, 
The first sloth that we previously saw was a two-toed sloth, if you remember the difference in the face color. It is not common for sloths to be this close to the ground level, so even our guide was incredibly excited for this viewing. Sloths spend a majority of their time in the treetops, only coming down once a week to use the bathroom. We were continuously impressed with Gerald's ability to spot sloths. I could stare up into the trees for minutes not spotting anything and he would be able to train his scope on them within just a few seconds. If one of the main goals of your trip to Costa Rica is to see sloths, we cannot recommend a guide more highly. Specifically Gerald of course, but any experienced wildlife guide will help you see far more than you will see on your own. We wonder how many times we may have driven by a sloth and had no idea. Okay, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> That's incredible! More fully developed, you see? Oh, more okay. Oh, that is not what I was looking for. A full size uh, male. Okay. We could see a hundred sloths. There you go. Jerry would be happy to see a dog too. So. After our tour, Gerald and his wife welcomed us into their home for a snack of coffee brewed in the traditional way, some empanadas, peach palms, and locally made cheese. The hospitality that we felt here and everywhere we went in Costa Rica was unmatched and we are so grateful to have met so many amazing people during our tours. And spider monkeys are fun to, to watch. We see them a lot here. Do you? But they just pass a couple of minutes and they're gone. <laughs> For our last day, Arnold gave us a final full view. However, as is common, if you turned around for too long, you'd lose her in the clouds again.
We slowly made our way back in the direction of San Jose in order to catch our flight the next morning, but we made a few strategic stops along the way. As we talked about before, sodas are a local restaurant in Costa Rica serving traditional food at a good price. However, sometimes they have a little bit something extra to offer. Soda y Mirador Tinchona is widely considered an excellent spot for bird watchers, with many different bird feeders set up to draw them in very close range for viewing. We also grabbed a cup of coffee and a snack, of course. Despite some signs of deteriorating weather, we continued on to our next stop of the day. Our goal was to visit the Poas volcano and to catch a glimpse of the crater, which is one of the largest volcanic craters in the world. This is also an active volcano, so the warning signs got increasingly more severe as you got closer to the crater. We 
were greeted with some heavy rain and had foolishly packed our rain jackets in our suitcases already. So we picked up a few ill-fitting ponchos from the gift shop. High Volcanic Hazard Zone. Oh. We were hoping that after such a soggy walk, at least the views would be worth it. Determined to wait out the fog, we took shelter in one of the concrete structures that we could only guess is there to protect you if there is an unexpected eruption. There was an observation station nearby measuring the air quality, which looked kind of like a fallout bunker with warning lights and sirens, so that was a little less than comforting. Luckily, the clouds did disperse and we were able to catch a glimpse of the crater after all. It's uh, frighteningly blue. Like that is not a natural color. Our last stop of the day was to the Starbucks Hacienda Alsacia. This is Starbucks' only farm where they cultivate new techniques and learn from the growing process to share with the farms that they buy from around the world. We were originally planning to take the coffee tour, but the heavy lightning in the area changed that plan. So we ended up with just a cup of coffee, a pastry that I ate before I remembered to record it, and then a bag of coffee to bring home. Thank you so much for joining us on our Costa Rica adventure. It's always hard to end an adventure, but here's a little Will Smith to help ease the pain. If you enjoyed this Costa Rica series, be sure to check out our trips to Iceland, New England, and our prior cruise videos. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see where our next adventure will take us, and we will see you there.